Mile High View, no commercials, no bullshit. So um, about a week ago, according to my, my little playlist thingy here, I uh, did a video that was called Mooncheck Can't Get Out of Steel Town Fast Enough. Now, I was talking about the mess that was going on. I'm the person who was talking about the, the mess in Pittsburgh, at least in the, the Denver area here, when sports talk radio wouldn't even discuss it. <clears throat> and uh, when Vic Fangio got hired, I put out that probably Munchak will be brought in at some time. Of course, I posted that uh, at Mile High Report and the usual suspects uh oh no no way it doesn't work that way well obviously it does work that way because he has been hired another thing is this this nonsensical idea let me back just back up a step the hiring of of uh, uh munchak uh disputes this nonsensical idea that the denver broncos uh has this this 11th best offensive line which i did another video on how totally absurd that was it's nonsense. And uh, it was Mark Slayer, of all people, an offensive lineman, uh, formerly with the Denver Broncos, actually made sense on Sports Talk Radio in the morning. He was saying, look, when the it, when Sanders went down and they didn't have to worry about the back end so much, they just said, okay, if you're going to run, we'll shut it down. And and what team shut it down? It, it was the, uh, the one of the worst teams that, that had a hard time shutting runs down. They shut it down because the offensive line is a joke. Okay, he was mentioning that offenses really don't spend a lot of time stopping the run these days because they're trying to stop these receivers and they're they're playing out a little bit more. They're not as focused on stopping the run. And I can understand that with you know what the uh, the defense are, defenses are facing uh, in today's NFL, all the uh, intricate routes, uh, quick throws. Okay, so um, anyway, so when it came time to shut down the, the Broncos' offensive line, it wasn't even a problem for one of the worst run-stop teams out there. And then the next one after that, and the next one after that, and obviously they could not uh, make the playoffs, okay? So uh, I disputed this, this, this fantasy that some, I don't know what people in, I, I don't know what the people in Broncos country that are doing this, what they're thinking, but... Uh, uh, but obviously, it's it the, the the need for the offensive line uh, being taken care of is 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 paramount, and it wasn't uh, being taken care of. It you know it was a fantasy. Uh, one of my um, one of my uh, offensive coordinators was uh, Belichick's uh, offensive uh, line coach, which we'll never get. But uh, I I put him down as a possible OC just for the fact that. If you don't have a, a great offensive line, you ain't got shit. And if you saw the game against with New England in, in San Diego, and then if you looked New England in the uh, playing the Jaguars, I mean, the, the Brady's got a brick wall in front of him. I mean, that is a marquee offensive line. Steelers had a, had a really good, really good offensive line. Three linemen going to the to the Pro Bowl. So obviously, this is a, a, a need and. Obviously, you know, the old way of Gary Kubiak bringing in Rick Dennison wasn't going to cut it. So that's what this hiring of Moonchek really means, too. I would definitely take a, a Moonchek over a Dennison, you know. Uh, I think Dennison, and believe it or not, Moonchek is a, his own blocking guy. Uh, he is. Uh, but just there, There's an article, and I put that, I think with if you go back to Moonchek, can't get out of Steeltown fast enough. Uh, I may have referenced the article that talked about uh, Moonchek's system, his own block system that he he has uh, uh, brought to Steel Town, <clears throat> or he brought there. And I also think that this is probably where that Antonio Brown nonsense may have you know been kicked around. But uh, thank God Antonio uh, Brown wants to go to uh, uh, to the San Francisco 49ers, and you better let him go because if he doesn't get his way, you know we we all see what happens. So. Um, and those who were just clamoring for, uh, for Antonio Brown didn't like my, uh, my Antonio Brown rant, but you know what, you know, you, but I'm glad you, I'm glad you posted something, you know, it was negative, you know, well, look at your channel, 13 subscribers. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Uh, yeah. But I just started it too. So 
<laughs> but no, really, thanks. Th- thank you, though, for... I'll give you this. I just wish more people would comment, you know, instead of... You can dig me if you want. I don't care. I'm not sports talk radio censoring. You know, I don't care. You can dig me. But at least I'll give you credit for posting something, and that's what I want to try to do. I'm trying to get somewhere else... And don't agree with me, for sure. I mean, I don't want... You don't have to agree with me. I'm not going to hate you because you disagree with me. But uh, uh, anyway, it just... uh, I wanted to start this channel. I just want to bring this up too. That uh, I just want people to start have, being feeling free to say what they want to say without feeling that, oh, I may say something different than what you know. I'm sick and tired of seeing threads in in in, in football. You know, football threads. Agreed. I agree. You know, don't agree with me. The whole reason I I put this channel up here was to be completely different out of the box. I don't totally disagree with everybody. I'm not saying that, but I don't usually follow the mainstream, the main thought line. I don't just go along to be along. You know, I didn't start this to start a social revolution of friends and networks and stuff like this. Just when people have, you know, want to go someplace that is tired of hearing the same old, you know, echo chamber, post something different. You know, hell, tell me I'm screwed up. I encourage it. So, anyway, that's it.